Food and water are two of the most important elements for life. But what do you do when they appear to be in conflict? Chances are you've heard a lot lately about water quality. But before we talk about how to improve water quality, we need to take a step back and ask the basic question, what's with all the fertilizer? By the end of the 1800s, humanity faced a pretty serious problem. Agricultural output simply couldn't keep pace with population growth. Fields were maxed out and massive starvation was looming. The problem was in the soil. You see, most plants can't grow without nitrogen. It's the basic building block of their cells and an essential part of chlorophyll, which, if you remember from Mrs. Rutherford in third grade, is what allows plants to capture the sun's energy. Nitrogen is all around us in the atmosphere, but most plants can't use it in the gaseous form. So, for all intents and purposes, humanity was screwed. That is until some German scientists invented the Haber-Bosch process, which converts atmospheric nitrogen into a liquid form. Almost overnight, one of the greatest crises in human history was solved, ghost science. How big a deal is this? Well, it supports food production for half the world's population. That's billions with a B. In fact, 40% of the nitrogen in your own body originated in the Haber-Bosch process. So you see, adding fertilizer is not just a luxury to maximize profits, it's what stands between us and Mad Max. So how do we balance the needs of a growing population with water quality? There's no one-size-fits-all solution, but the good news is we've come a long way since the 1800s. By taking a comprehensive, holistic approach, farmers can reduce nutrient loss while maintaining much, if not all, of their crop yields. For example, crop yields are up 105% since 1980, while nutrient use is only up 4%. We all care about the quality of our water, and working together, we can meet the challenges of global food production while caring for our local environment. For more info on farming practices that can help reduce nutrient loss, go to iowacorn.org.